see how much these Titans like being back together. Alright guys, I'm back. What's up? I'm gonna show you this. Even got this sword from this show. Alright, so, um, I said, where was I at? Season 2, um, my grenade just fell, oh well. Season um, 2 started out, um, alright, never mind, moving on to uh, episode 2. So, um, episode 2 is called, hold on, is called Rose, and we all know who Rose is, but they don't know who she is in this episode. And it's just a really okay episode. Um, and at the end of the episode, they find out who Rose is after Dick um, welcomes her into that tower because he feels bad for her. And, um, and then they do a facial scan with the police helicopter or something. They say Rose Wilson, daughter of Slade Wilson, and then Jason's like, oh crap, and they show the, and then the army, that's like the army and everything. Then episode's over, and then, now, Aqualad was supposed, was, um, in this show, they teased from the trailers, the theory was that, um, he was dead by the death row, because they, in the trailers, they only show him, in flashback scenes where everyone is in costume and stuff so pure like that's kind of strange and then this episode which was ghosts um teases that they said after donna and everyone went back to titan's tower and was it was it the first no the second episode or third um it's clear they didn't want to be there and especially donna and she's like you need to Tell these kids what they're getting into, like what's going on, what happened here. It's they said it's what is it? It's haunted or there's ghosts in this place. And they do a little tease. And then we at, and we do a full flashback episode and we actually see um five years ago, Deathstroke kills Legal Eagle, um and like did a whole assassinating thing with like a whole case or something. And he gets the document that says new contract or something, right? And um, so it's weird because Dick was dating um, Dawn in this um, back then. Because we knew that from the second episode of season one. Yeah, that happened sometime. And it was Garth's birthday. He was Aqualad. And he's played by Drew Van Acker. And yeah. And he's trying to get with Donna and stuff. She's not interested because she has to leave soon or something. And when she actually does leave, when she actually does um, do stuff with him, she's just doing it because she's leaving. It's like kind of a messed up thing to do. And Garth doesn't know, and he goes to the airport and says, Oh, I love you and everything. And you get a shot by Death Stroke, and everyone's um, theory was proven right. And that's how they identify the shooter and she, he, and then John just said, I was taking to do some pretty dark stuff, so he goes and finds his kid on purpose, which is not a good thing, and episode ends, his whole demeanor on his face changed, and now, um, I didn't forget to mention about episode 3, Dr. Light and Deathstroke were working together, and, and I like that sequence of them in the house, um, Deathstroke's house talking about the plan and everything. And when Jason gets kidnapped in the before the in the third episode, that was because it was cool. He was beating the shit out of Dr. Light, but Deathstroke comes up. He's like, yeah, he's not gonna win that one. But um, yeah. And so in episode five, we finally see Deathstroke in action, and he's has some pretty cool scenes in there. I, I love his voice, even out of the costume, even like after, out of the costume and stuff. He's 
This stuff hurt, reminds me of the 2003 one from the anime show. Um, and yeah, they do the whole thing in the tower where Dick was being an idiot and he did stuff without them. Like, you probably shouldn't fight him alone. But he wasn't expecting Starfire and then Jason gets dropped in um, episode and his cliffhanger. And yeah, and then we get a lot of cool, I think, now for me, everyone was like, oh, once he falls, someone's going to jump, jump and get him or catch him or fly. And everyone was like, oh, Connor will, because the episode, next episode is called Connor, so that's convenient. You could just save him and that's what happened. And then, I think the last, in episode 8 was one of my favorite episodes, you get the whole backstory of what happened with Jericho and Deathstroke and that badass scene in the, um, with Robin vs. Deathstroke was cool and with Wonder Girl vs. Deathstroke was cool. Now, I figured going into season 2, since season 1 was so graphic and violent, with Dick Grayson, I'm, I was like, okay, Deathstroke's gonna be real. It's gonna be really gory stuff with Deathstroke because it's a TVMA rating, and that was the goriest thing you can see. He just, I don't know, he stabbed her in the back or something, and that was just to leave a message though. But um, yeah, and then he killed when he lures her there. He killed all the Amazons, which is cool, I guess. But um. Yeah, and then Jericho dies, um, and then after that episode, in my opinion, it, it started to go down, it really started to go downhill until episode 12 was a good one, but after that, it, and the season finale was very, very bad. Now, obviously they did, well, they pretty much got rid of Deathstroke within the first minute by like 10 minutes, which I didn't like, but, um, as you know, he gets stabbed, like, right here or something, and he's dead, but, um, another, the thing that I, I don't think that he's dead in this show, because he survived much worse than being stabbed one time, and they, we knew that he can heal, but they literally didn't bring that up until, um, the episode before he dies, so I think that's a hint, and I think they're gonna do something similar to, like, where, I mean, every DC show has a reoccurring villain, like in The Flash, it's, um, Reverse Flash and Arrow, it's Deathstroke, and... So, they're gonna... That's what I'm guessing they're gonna do. These might be in the end of Season 3, hopefully. And... I... I that was my favorite version of him, and... If he's actually dead, which I don't think he is, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna be, I'm not watching the show again. And, yeah, so, um... Is... The question is, is this a good show? And... I don't, I enjoy watching this show, I like this show, but it's not that great in terms of writing. There's a lot of other shows that are, DC shows that are written better, like The Flash and stuff like that, and... Yeah, and it's not, some things are coming, like, they do make a lot of plot holes, because there's a couple where, where I think Jason and Rose were in the room, and she found Jericho's, um, his record or something, his, the like, final thing, and she's like, this is my brother's, where did you get it, and I'm like, and then in, like, a different episode, it says, she doesn't even, she didn't even know she had a brother, she never met him before, he was dead before she even knew he existed, so he, she couldn't have possibly known that was his or he liked that stuff. And, yeah, there's a couple, there's a lot of plot holes, in, like, little plot holes in this. Like, in episode, when they said, I thought, they said, I thought Deathstroke was dead, Donna said, said, but they never showed any sign of that even happening, he just beat their asses, that's it. And... I think there's a couple more. If I think of them all, I'm gonna um, put them in, in, in the captions. And yeah, so um, this is kind of a show where you hate to love or love to hate and everything. It's it's not the best in terms of writing, but it's it's an okay show. But um, all right, so yeah, that's gonna be my review and.
hot in, in bar dust. <laughs>